Hey everybody, so this is the Coulomb's Law FET Lab simulation that you're going to do for homework for your next class. Um, just to take you kind of through it really quick, again, here on the worksheet, you'll see the link to the FET Lab. Um, on, so you shouldn't have to Google search anything, just go to this worksheet um, that's linked to on your instructions for the week <coughs> and load up this simulator. And then you're just going to type answers into here. Um, as you're doing things. So the first one asks you to identify the variables in the simulations, what's being changed or tested. Um, there are three independent variables and there's one dependent variable. So look at those and see what you can come up with. Um, there's three things you can change here and there's one output of the whole thing based on those. Um, the force values it asks you to obtain are right here. Um, see those force on Q1 by Q2, force on Q2 by Q1. Again, Q just represents charge. And down here, you have your little scale bars that allow you to change the charge. Um, again, make sure on the macro one, not the atomic one, then the numbers will make sense. Uh, so you're going to record answers to the tenths place okay, for the forces. Um, and make sure your ruler is kind of centered towards the middle of each thing, so that'll be a little bit easier. Or pick one to center to. So you see here, they line the ruler up at 10 with the blue one, and then you can move the red one around to get the right distance between the two objects. Um, the first one you're gonna do is setting the distance between the charges at three, and charge two will be eight microcoulombs, and charge one will be these variable numbers. The second one, you will have opposite charge. Charge one will stay the same, but will be negative. Charge two will increase, um, where the distance stays the same. And then the last one, you're going to change the distance while keeping the charges the same. And measure the forces of one on two and two on one. Um, hopefully, that part, you should understand what those should be. Um, if you do one on two, hopefully, by now, you know what you should put for two on one. And then just decide if it's away or towards. Um, that's based on the direction of the arrow. Uh, questions here about true or false, you can just type the answer in real quick. And then you're going to go here, and there's a Google Sheet for this lab. So you're going to click on that Google Sheet. Again, so actually first, going back to the very beginning a little bit, make sure you make a copy of this worksheet. Make it your own. Okay, This one is should be view only. Um, so make a copy of it, make it your own. And then you'll go down and open the spreadsheet down here on this link, and that should take you to this. Um, and again, make this your own should look something like this. I put some numbers in here that are totally not true, so don't worry about that. But what you're going to do is from that first column, this is going to be the force of, I believe it says, um, one on two. So you're going to do your values for the force for one on two in here. So that first column, and just put those in. Put it in for table, table, table two and put it in for table, table three. And then it's going to generate three graphs for you. Graph one, graph two, graph three. Make sure, and this is in the instructions, make sure when you're here, you go to, after you have your data in, go to Edit Chart, and under Customize and Series, make sure that you pick Trend Line. That'll give you your best fit line. And that best fit line is up here. Um, for some of them, maybe linear, some of them may be quadratic. So make sure you're prepared for that. Um, but that's how you're going to find the equation for each one, which is one of the questions you're going to answer. Type the equation for your line that shows in the legend at the top of your graph, part E right here. So um, instructions should be pretty straightforward. And if you do have questions, reference this video or don't hesitate to reach out.